Okay, so this video will expound on the examples shown in the short version of this video. Um, I decided to do a playlist instead of one long video cramming everything together because each one of these uh, topics will take um, at, at least 10 minutes or more. Um, so uh, I'll be doing a playlist. This video will focus on old grid. Whoops. <laughs> Circled the wrong one there. But uh, old grid. And um, let's get into it. So the first example, India, this um, so-called old grid, uh, we see multiple orientations, uh, activity over older activity, kind of uh, in disuse here, some of it, um, possible old rice fields or coastal farming of some kind. Um, no real reason to suspect that it's not, other than all the other weird channels and patterns, which... Uh, make me take a second look at this type of thing as well. So let's go over to Google Earth. Here's that area and let's take a look. So we are... Here's India and we are... right here. And let's just scroll around a bit and see what we see. Um, Various like animal trails and stuff, uh, some, I don't know, some foot trails, um, but it, like this type of thing, this doesn't look like it's in modern use. Um, could be abandoned fields, like it's depleted, they depleted the minerals and, or whatever, and now they moved on to a new area. Like here's this kind of similar thing, looks like it might be in use or might have been in use recently. The coloring, like there's a, cl a cloud over this, I guess, in the image, so it looks like, I don't know, sometimes it looks, quote, older, unquote, than it is. J like, just the coloration makes it look old, so I'm calling it old grid. But, um, I mean, it's up to you. This is all based on hunch anyways, so I don't really have any super rigorous uh, arguments to make that this is... Um, uh, some kind of tomfoolery. It's just the hunch, really. Um, but see, we have these long channels here. Um, let's take a look at this guy. Like, uh, we have multiple channels side by side, not to mention this one right here. Um, so why would you need this many channels? And then this one only goes so far. And I guess maybe to combat erosion, like as a barrier. But it kind of looks natural, but kind of not. Well, obviously not here. Then here, it's I guess, joins up with the natural land. But, uh, or maybe not. Hard to tell. But we've got all these channels. Which don't look like they're maintained particularly well. Um, and the... It's almost pointless to put down a place mark for old grid because it's so ubiquitous. Um, these look like they might be in use. Uh, yeah, this looks like it might be in use. But a lot of times I suspect that entire um, regions are uh, built over um, a pre-parceled or pre-polygonated um, land, or uh, like pre-divided, like see here this, uh, like what is this? Uh, I mean maybe they're growing something, and the, the, um, the crisp lines make me think that it sh should be modern, but I don't know, we've got this stuff, and uh, when I say old grid, I'm, I don't really have one, only one particular geometry in mind or pattern. Um, like this could be old as well, this wavy stuff. Um, I mean, although there's people right here, but I rather suspect that modern civilization is built on top of a whole bunch of 
other weird patterns. Um, so we have this channel right here. I'm just kind of browsing around the areas where I um, mentioned that the old grid is and uh, just showing you like I don't necessarily see the purpose of this channel thing right here unless they're trying to um, preserve this coastline and so they built this barrier in front of it that's probably the most likely explanation but it doesn't look like this barrier is maintained very well um, just kind of there sporadically uh, what do we got here obviously civilization right next door um, and this could qualify as quote patchy land unquote also uh, but it's possible that that's old patterns that have been that have modern activity on top of them um, like this type of thing this might be like modern coastal fish or uh, fish farms or whatever then this like doesn't look like it's in use but it looks like it was something um, and again it could just be they use one area and move on to another area but I can't imagine these little things are in use and also there's the question like what are these boundaries made out of like is it cement walls is it um, ditches is it uh, just dirt like laid dirt or um, um, I and I think it varies it really varies I think for the most part it's mounds of dirt um, but there's probably a few different things and we can only get so much detail from Google Earth anyways uh, I mean I wonder if we could drop this guy down here no it didn't work um, so let's do just a little bit more scrolling around this area and then I'll show you some more examples so this Look at the historical photos here. See how this area has changed over time. 2019, 2004. We don't see it really. Uh, well, it's more submerged. We see, I think it's just the water level that's different. Let's go to more recent. Yeah, it's just the changing water level. And there are like dredging operations that go around like 24/7, like for uh, just like nonstop, and uh, maintain coastal areas. Like in San Francisco Bay, I was reading about, um, and that should account for some of what we're seeing. Uh, just in my slightly humble opinion, I don't think that accounts for everything, especially the stuff on land. I mean. Um, and the, the weird channels and everything. Um, plenty of channels, yeah. Uh, too many, I would say, to be practical. Um, so the idea with India is that there's like old grid around like the whole area. And really, I've, I haven't even glanced at most areas, but um, like even the, the inland areas especially around rivers or any kind of water um, but this I would consider more of a patchy pattern but I mean it's kind of similar to the old grid thing and I'm just wondering not asserting but wondering whether um, at, le at least some of this um, parceling and working over of the land is uh, older than we think it is or at least not done by conventional I mean this looks actually kinda conventional patterns this tractor going back and forth but um, 
I'll, I'll show more of that pre-parceling concept later. It's as if something um, just kind of laid out some patterns for us to build over, and we reused some of the some of those patterns. Um, you know, like something's playing Sim City with Earth, if you're familiar with that video game, and then uh, and then we we build on top of whatever they lay out as the initial conditions. Um, okay, let's just zoom in here, random zoom, see if we can see some old grid. Uh, but that that's the pattern. Um, although I would suspect this is like I don't know whales or something, <laughs> um, or coast uh, f coastal fisheries. It's it's more suspicious when you see it like fading into the water. Like although uh, obviously coastlines do change, but this looks more modern. Obviously. Um, but anyways, we have some more areas of India. Uh, I'll show you some still images of, of this area right now. This is um, Thandi Yakadu Wildlife Area. And I'm thinking, and here's a zoom out for context, zoom back in. I'm thinking that um, this whole area is like possibly cleared out or like just flattened or raised raised over or raised across um, kind of like the sheared flat land I was talking about in the summary vi summary video um, but let's look at these still images real quick so that one we looked at so this is that area um, Thondi Yakadu Wildlife Sanctuary and I'm probably saying that wrong but there's the the old grid uh, pretty much everywhere and it takes on various patterns it's got like this uh, kind of arrow pattern and also this parallel lines pattern and um, we see the lines are pretty crisp and I would think if they were older than like 500 or a thousand years that they would have faded more you know what I mean so which makes me almost think that they're more recent. E either that or they're particularly resilient. So maybe made of concrete walls or something. Um, but yeah, here's some close-ups of that. Uh, um, here we see it only one side. Here we see it on both sides of the line. Uh, so some slight variations and uh, yeah, not quite sure what it is. I mean, it could just be rice farming or something like that, or uh, I don't know, watercress or whatever they grow over here. I don't know, but um, let's look in Google Maps and scroll around a bit. So here's that general area, and it's basically this whole area is. Uh, all marked up like that, all the way from over here uh, to the other end. And obviously human beings doing their thing, probably using these as pawns for their operations. Um, pond, not pawn. Um, and yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, it definitely looks agricultural. And like I said, just from a cursory Google Earth investigation, where I'm not going to get everything right. And uh, and we see, obviously, parallel dots, or columns in rows of dots, or arrays, I guess you would call it. So, I don't know, some kind of plant here, so probably either the ancient terraforming of some, some kind, or probably modern farming of something. But um, let's scroll around and see what else we see. Variations on it. Again, we've got the channels. Zigzagging. Uh, and it looks like it's just mounds of, of dirt. 
possibly some kind of cement or concrete or something. But, uh, yeah, this whole area. And see, see how crisp this looks? And also, like, some, some are super precise, but then s these aren't, like, as evenly spaced. Like, s pretty wide gap here. And pretty narrow gap there. So... But then these look, well, kind of precise. Might, it might be like eyeballed or they, uh, just kind of on the fly. Yeah, see the spacing isn't particularly regular, wide spacing. But see, uh, yeah, I mean the water, the water level could have changed, so that, that might be why all this is underwater and looking, quote, old, unquote. Um, let's look, take a look back. Yeah, it looks like the farther back you go in time, the more you see of it. So I think it's slowly been um, covered up. Or, I mean, yeah, covered up by water. And actually, in this 2003 photo, we don't see the things, uh, the arrow things. Either they're underwater or they weren't formed yet. Uh, let's look at these ones. Okay, so I think this stuff is new. So, yeah, looks like it is. My bad. Although, one thing I was going to add to this conversation is the possibility that this terraforming project is not only something that happened in the past, um, possibly on multiple occasions uh, and in multiple phases, but it might be something that's ongoing. So a dynamic process. I mean, you can't turn to CNN or, you know, mainstream culture of any kind and and make the case that something weird isn't going on because I mean something is and it's still going on so I, I do wonder um, whether some of what we see some of these strange, pa strange patterns is uh, part of an ongoing terraforming project rather than something that, that happened strictly um, a long time ago Yeah, different water levels. Yeah, it's tough to say whether that's the water level changing and exposing what was already there, or whether it, it's newly built. These arrow lines things. But uh, let's go over to this and see a little bit more of it. And you see multiple patterns kind of overwritten written over each other. Go back in time a little bit. 2002. And in 2002, we do not see the arrow things. Right, at least not right here. So, not in 2008 either. How about 2012? No. 15, 17, 18. Okay, so these are just within the last couple of years. These things written over the other pattern. Um, for what purpose? I don't know. Um, hmm. Maybe these are something to do with fishing or like planting seeds or something like that. Or even like mining or something. Like uh, test, test digs, like looking for minerals or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess uh, I could do some research on it, but it's hard to go deep into the history of each individual area, area um, while I'm doing so many examples. So uh, here we see a more faint one. Sorry, I'll try and wrap up. I'm kind of going on and on with this area. 
that's there in 2008, whatever. Um, and then all the way over to this side as well. This looks like more of a modern industrial operation. Um, like, uh, I don't know, could be anything. Okay, let's uh, look at, I think, one more area in India. So, yeah, vast. I just wanted to make the point here that a large percentage of India and the world basically is covered by this gritty pattern. And also, we could include this type of pattern as well. Grid lines, for lack of a better term, kind of a regular like sometimes really regular, sometimes irregular, and just this mm, not very confident speculation that maybe the regularity combined with the irregularity is part of the whole confusion whoops, um, agenda or um, strategy. Um, maybe, but let's go to Google Earth and look at this. So this is uh, still on the uh, east side of India, and it's over here. The grid lines. And obviously India has been populated for a long time, so this could just be old activity by traditional human um, endeavors, agriculture and aquaculture and whatever. Um, here's some more of it here. And let's take a quick look back in time. I'm guessing this is new, based on what we saw a second ago. Yeah. Okay. So 2010 it was placed there. Interesting. Okie doke. Um, let's take a look at some more old grid examples. Asa Woman Wildlife Area in Delaware. Uh, just, I kind of like that name. It's kind of funny. I think there's a city called Asa Woman just, just down the way a bit. It's probably a Native American name or something like that. But obviously we see these grid lines. And all, all up and down the east coast of the U.S. we see this. And Mississippi Delta, Louisiana, that whole area. We see these grid line things, um, and it's another wildlife area, and wildlife areas in particular have this pattern. Here's a closer look at it, and here we have like these uh, um, rid ridges, or let's say it kind of looks serrated, or like like the edge of a, a chainsaw. You know what I mean, like like teeth. Obviously, it's not that, but probably whenever these were dug, it splattered dirt out on the sides. And that's what we're seeing here, these little dots or bumps. Um, just is what it is, whatever it is. Um, let's take a look in Google Earth. So here's, the, here's that area. Got these little bumps. Um, and let's do a quick... Uh, Look back in time. And back in 1992, it looked the same. Probably not worth much, but... Uh, one more look back in time, 1992. Not so great resolution, but we still see the lines. Okay. And they haven't changed. Because sometimes you'll see lines, but they they seem to shift over time, which just means that uh, they're being maintained and re uh, uh, recreated 
for whatever purpose. Yeah, still see it here, 1992. Not, no changes, really. It's interesting that they don't seem to fill in or erode. They maintained their crispness over the decades, or the, the crisp look. And, um, yeah, I just think something uh, did a, some kind of terraforming job over this whole area. And of course we, well, that's probably modern channel, but we do have the intercoastal waterway. I don't know if that's part of it, but probably is a uh, long channel along the East coast. And uh, there's some weirdness with that as well. But basically all along the East coast, we have these strange lines. More lines with the bumps along the side. Nice little lake here for no reason. Um, yeah, kind of starting and stopping. And uh, Weird channels here. Like, is that a necessary channel right there? Like, what what does what purpose does it serve? You know what I mean? Like, we need to get from here to here. I don't know. I don't... Let's look back in time and see how it's looked over the decades. Looked the same in 1989. And see, even like right here, I almost suspect whether this is like some type of artificial path like this is. And even these, well, I don't know, some of the streaks maybe. Uh, but yeah, lots of channels, weird lines. And see faint one there. Not clear why that would be needed. Um, all right, let's move on to a different spot. More old grid. Sedas Purves Latvia Nature Reserve. Uh, there's some old grid, uh, similar type of deal. Uh, this whole area here and Closer look here, just kind of grooves or indentations or um, gaps or cleared bits. It's like some, some bits are cleared and then some bits are raised. So some, some of these lines protrude uh, upward out of the ground and some of them appear to be grooves, if I'm not mistaken. And here's a look at that. Uh, so this is a photograph of the area and we see these lines doesn't look like they're growing uh, growing anything like agriculturally it's just kind of a wetlands area but why it's so marked up is uh, a mystery to me and then let's look at it in google earth so here we are here's the latvia and these lines. So it's whatever's some type of something. See little channels here. See how wide that is. I won't get a good measurement. About 25 feet across. So. Yep, that's that. 
and continuing over here and see I I even speculate on whether like you see the whole patchiness of the whole civilization whether that's um, like pre uh, pre mapped out before these people settled um, you know like to ready ready the land for people or whatever or something like that possible similar thing here um, I saw something up here old groove old grids okay so similar thing up in I think we're in Estonia now yeah similar thing and what is it well we just saw a picture of it in the Latvia example so it's just I guess just water with grassy I think it must be like walls like some type of resilient wall because it's uh they're pretty straight and regular and they maintain their shape in spite of like storms and weathering and stuff so 2006 yeah still looked like this see faint lines in, in between and I think there was some similar stuff in the Netherlands Yeah, here we are in Netherlands. They call it polder, like it's like to drain, um, to keep the water level from either rising or falling. I can't remember, probably rising, and it keeps the Netherlands level. And apparently, it was done like a couple hundred years ago or something. Uh, all this polder, but I rather suspect it's from some kind of. Uh, I don't know, less, less conventional explanation. That's the only real way I can put it. But anyways, let's move on. Java, Indonesia. So this image, I just wanted to convey the scale of it. Um, obviously you see the patterns here and well inland as well. Uh, so let's take a look. So here's Java, Indonesia. Took me a second to find Java. Um, here's that area. And pretty ubiquitous old grid pattern. 2000, it looked like pretty much the same but a little more submerged actually these other lines seem to have disappeared these lines right here seem to have disappeared interesting or just kind of faded away right there so it might be ongoing modern work and obviously food is grown somewhere right farms exist um, fisheries and coastal whatever aquaculture but yeah and sometimes I need to check myself because just because it looks strange to my eye doesn't mean it's uh, inexplicable but see this is I would say this looks strange but it, it might be easily explainable. Looked the same in 2001. So some of these areas don't change, some of them do. Oh. Actually, these, these lines were there in 2001, and they're not there in 2019. It looks different, see? So at least some significant portion of this old grid phenomenon is modern work 
Once again, I do throw it out there, the possibility that maybe it's part of some ongoing um, terraforming weirdness that's not strictly for conventional modern purposes. Um, you know, like what if what if there were some 12,000 12, year contract on Earth to just perpetually make patterns um, slowly and subtly, but uh, just ongoing and slightly change here and then make a weird thing there and then slightly change it 10 years later. Just a thought. I mean, some of the stuff appears to not change and some of it does. See, this looks pretty crisp, these lines back in 2001, but looks like it's fading already. 2019. The scale is pretty impressive, but a lot of these areas have pretty big populations, obviously. So, whatever you think is as good of a guess as whatever I think, so. Nice little channel here. Let's, see, let's check the water level on this area over time. Okay, so this used... In 2001, this was much more gridded, and then the water level rose. Like you see these people doing their thing, stationed at each one of these things, and then no longer usable, it looks like. At least, or it could be high tide or whatever, I don't know. Um, but you do see that in the vast area, the whole island, and uh, patchy pattern, whole area. This is kind of what I mean by like the pre-parceling of the land. Just like, for farming purposes, this seems like a little bit gratuitously um, over-zoned. If that makes sense, like, do you really need this many plots of land if there's, I mean, it doesn't look like they're growing anything. Maybe this is the off season, um, but let's take a brief look. Uh, back in 2012, it looked roughly the same. It's not that long ago, though. But th this is basically what I mean by like pre-parceling or pre-clearing, pre-zoning of certain areas by this whatever terraforming project, if it's even real. Um, but I don't quite understand why there would be this much micro-zoning, you know what I mean? Like, or is this little tiny plot really necessary? Uh, and it's it's like enti it's like really it's like thousands and tens of thousands of square miles of that type of thing. Vast old grid continues on this uh, delta or yeah kind of delta area. And probably this water level has changed. Let's check it out. Let's look at this. Yeah, I mean, fluctuations, obviously. These lines. Yeah, so those lines did change like this. And then there's more stuff out here in 2013 and it's tough to say whether these things are being built out or whether they're being revealed uh, as the water level changes but I, th I think it's I think it's built out based on what I'm seeing here anyways it's probably enough of Java for now uh, vast old grid continues real quick.
see the scale of it, obviously. Um, wondering if every single one of these plots is in use. Maybe. Could be. All right, enough of Java. Let's take a look at more examples. Vietnam. Vietnam is another place where we have pretty large scale of this, and another another place I suspect the uh, the pre pre zoning. And I'll try and find that same area. Here we are in Vietnam. Um, but it's basically all up and down the, well, the countryside as well, like this kind of patchy terrace pattern, which I don't necessarily think is always farming. Could be, but I mean, I guess a thousand years of, or two thousand years of human activity will do pretty crazy stuff to the landscape. I don't think this is stacked walls. I think this is terraces. It's pretty impressive. A little weird looking, but maybe maybe not that weird. Some old 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 grid here. See if it is an ongoing effort, and we see some bumps and some kind of tracks here. Probably just uh, like a you know. Uh, what do you call those things? A bobcat or a tractor type thing. Um, but if it is an ongoing thing, uh, that would make it very hard to detect. Which would be part of the genius of it. Like a continuous reset versus a uh, discrete one. Or... A, Maybe they use both tactics. Um, again, the vast, vast scale of it. Interesting stuff. Um, can't find that exact area that I had in that still image, but Oh, this might be it. Just kind of squiggly grid. Look back in time. Ah, can't really see it there. Um, sorry, this is kind of drawing on and on. Just doing kind of a live investigation here. Dirt to dirt. A lot of people. Doing a lot of stuff. And, uh... Cambodia, yeah, Cambodia, Myanmar, these places I, I do suspect, or uh, at least ask the question, 
Thailand as well, whether they were like pre, whether the land was pre patched out or patched up, uh, prepared in these little z neat little zones. Mm. See what I mean? Just a question. All right, let's look at some more examples. Argentina. We have some fairly regular uh, grids of lines along this river. And I think this one is more inland. So let's check it out. Here we are. So uh, Argentina right here, near Buenos Aires. And here we have these lines. And what are they? This is looking a lot like what we saw in that Latvia example. The, uh, that one, this one right here, kind of looking like that. So, and obviously on a very massive scale, is it modern? Efforts to maintain the area for some purpose, I don't know. We also have little grooves, like here's a mini channel right here, and then a bigger channel right here, and then the river, which I question whether that's even that is natural. So here's like a very straight edge of this. Like it's, it's kind of a, I don't know, I guess you'd call that cartoonish river, or I would call it that. Um, I mean, there's people right here, uh, but, uh, so like little lines like that, like, what is that for? Like this. And then these, these long arrays. So this is what, kind of what I mean by gibberish. Like, it looks like it could be something, looks like it could be purposeful, but Maybe it's not, or maybe it has like a kind of advanced multi-purpose function where it's like it served some function at some time at some time, but was also designed to be enigmatic looking. Or I mean, I guess a a grid of lines isn't that enigmatic, but maybe they do subtle things to embellish it or ham it up. I don't know. Looked basically the same since 2003. And you see the little bumps along the side. Probably from whatever created these channels. Kind of kicking up dirt as it went. And the dirt landed in these piles or something like that. More little bumps there. Um, let's take a look at the surrounding area. See what else I, I mentioned. Uh, Somewhat linear. I'm always I'm always looking at rivers to see if I can find any anomalous um, features. Like this straight line is slightly ir irksome to me. Um, kind of straight line there too. And rivers do overtake themselves in striking and abrupt ways. But uh, where'd it go? Awesome. Anyways, um, so it's tough to say what's natural and what's mimicry of natural. Sometimes it's kind of blatant. Sometimes they did a more solid job, if that's even what happened. Cool pattern texture, not necessarily artificial. Um, fake channel way. Maybe, ugh, clouds. And thin channels like these, like this makes me sus slightly suspicious. 
like almost a double thin channel here. It's a nice regular thin cleared bit of, of uh, land for a little river thing. Any other old grid over here? Maybe. Kind of. Like this is what I mean like vast areas of cleared land that just got buzzed over. Mm. And even as I say that, I mean, how do I know these people didn't do it all? Or whoever came before them. But like this line here and like, like this, this path here, the right angle, just the weird little thing. It strikes me as odd. Maybe it's just a trail, I don't know. All right, let's move on to another area. Beru Island, Kiribati. Here we see kind of a different type of what we might call an old grid with some kind of jagged patterns there as well. Um, and at each end of this island we have this pattern which could be old fish ponds or anything really. Um, even modern stuff. So let's go scroll around there a little bit and see what's going on. So here we are, Beru Island. Um, and at each end of the island we have these things. These grid patterns. I don't know what it is. Looks like some kind of either dirt mound or like stone wall. Maybe maybe stone and con concrete. Basically look the same since 2005. Let's check one more time. Yep, same since 2005. And kind of squirrely, you know what I mean? Not sure what it is. Kind of goofy. And I'll show you some other stuff on this island as well. But here's the other end of the island. Uh, the ponds or pools or grids of little low walls, whatever it is. And then this thing, interesting, um, could be an image glitch something going on there. Two thousand five similar. So whatever. You get the picture. And then I still feel silly saying this, but in some cases when I see these uh, very Iso um, mm, not isolated, but when I see these sporadic, that's the word I'm looking for, sporadic patches of parallel trees, I wonder whether that, whether these trees were planted during this uh, resurfacing project, the tooling of earth terraforming project I'm talking about, or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Obviously, it could be coconut farms or palm tree farms, palm oil or whatever. It's probably 99% likely that that's the case. But let's look at some other stuff. I wonder whether these like angular bays are artificial, like something was taking bites out of the coast. Like the coastline on all these uh, islands looks kind of angular. Um, like, is, like, what is that? I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's just to prevent erosion. Um, possible path there or something. Did the coast and then exited here. Uh, straight path. It's 
see like right here. Could just be for this dude's boat or whatever. You know, like a clear path for boats to get out. But I also wonder whether it's something which from something which shaped the actual coastline and maybe even the whole island and maybe even the whole earth or a whole bunch of it. Uh, it's, it's too, uh, I can't really say anything definitive. There's some weird looking stuff, but it's too difficult to say for sure whether it's artificial. Another kind of path looking thing here. Mark that real quick. And when I say tool, like tool path, I don't really know what type of tool I mean, just kind of something. So here's here's another thing we see, like this could be a fishing trap. Or just yet another gibberish pattern for whatever purpose. Uh, lots of those. And real quick, let's look at some of the surrounding islands. Because they have very similar types of features. Um, this I would consider like a jagged, angular coast. Possibly artificial. Getting off topic here. I this video is on old grid, but uh, got more of the uh, this heart shape underwater, quite a bit of it, some variations on it here. Um, possible, mm, maybe artificially machined or uh, created coast but I digress see this doesn't this look like a very angular coast let me hide my things and it's that's kind of why I, I bring it up because it, it may be appropriate or maybe not but like maybe I'm over extrapolating but it may be appropriate to take a broader view and try and connect dots um, even if I connect a few that don't connect in uh, in error or false speculation, but to me, I just see this and I think, well, if that's artificial, then maybe the grid patterns are uh, done by a similar party or author. I think author is the word I'm looking for. Um, and then this guy, fishing trap, maybe. There are heart-shaped fishing traps, certainly. But, okay, let's just go to another area. Egypt. Now, a lot of this is modern. I know that for a fact, because I, I checked the historical photos. Um, the patterns are odd, to be sure. But this, this is, I think, the Nile Delta, so let's go over there and scroll around for a bit. Alright, so here is the Nile Delta. And, yeah, basically here and here we have uh, these patterns of grid lines. And right off the bat, let's go into historical photos and see how it's changed. 1972, don't get much of a feel for it. Actually, tough to say. 2004, mm. that's unfortunate. 2004-2019 almost looks the same as 2004 pretty much really um, not a whole lot different uh, 
I think this is the part I had in that image, like right here. Uh, so yeah, let's one more look back. 2019, 2013. Come on, man. Seemingly, well, I see some subtle changes. So I think this is modern and evolving. And I mean, it's, it's human nature to just kind of build on top of what other people do, regardless of what, what the previous foundation looks like. So it's like one person builds one thing and another person builds something next to it. And it just kind of organically takes on this pattern, which I'm classifying as strange, but it might just be a natural outgrowth of the way humans build stuff. Uh. Yeah, some slight differences here. So this this might even be all modern stuff, um, but I wanted I wanted to give it a look anyways, just because it's important to be honest about false positives. <laughs> I still think there's a decent chance that like uh, a significant portion of all the videos I'm doing is just a false positive, like. Like humans have been around for a while and they've done a lot of work. This thing bugs me. This definitely bugs me. Um, 2004. Oh, it wasn't there in 2004. Interesting. So only recently did they clear out this whole area. That's fascinating. What about these grooves? Let's take let's keep an eye on these grooves here or channels. See how those have evolved. 2019, 2010 basically looks the same. 2004 pretty similar. This is most likely modern, or almost certainly. Here we have the bumps phenomenon. Um, and quick look back in time. Arg. 2007, we don't see it. 2009, we don't see it. 2013, we see it. And unclear whether it's emerging or, you know, from changing water level, or whether it's newly built. 2009 to 2013, that's a pretty big gap. Hmm. I don't know, but this is, uh, this is an area which may be a combination of modern and old stuff, or just all modern stuff. See, like, I guess, I guess these patterns are modern, so they show up recently. All right, that's enough of Egypt. Madagascar. So basically, entire, almost the entire country. Is Madagascar a country? I think it is. Uh, but almost the entire country is covered in these scalloped looking patched kind of grid patterns. 
and the scale of it to me is a giveaway. I mean, I know there's like Madagascar vanilla beans and stuff and lots of farming in Madagascar. But let's go over and look. More old grid. See, see all these green areas, the rivers? It's like every square inch of river and there's a lot of rivers and little offshoots is covered by this uh, this gritty pattern. See what I mean? And it could be any number of uh, terracing um, strategies. The scale of it is very impressive if it's just uh, traditional farming. Um, but then what else do we have? Is it only by the rivers? Like right here we see it. Let's go back in time real quick. 2009 look the same-ish. Oh. But the point is, like, the whole country is, uh, all worked over like this, with all these patchy lines here, 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 see this, this, like, how, how old is that, I'm wondering. And rivers do change their course, so that's to be kept in mind. But I, I stopped making place marks for this area just because it's it's pretty much everywhere. Let's go somewhere if a, while, a ways away, like way up here. Same deal. Like Likely terracing here. Maybe, I don't know. Just kind of see it here. And I'll tear a stop. Probably modern stuff here. Patchy old grid pattern. I just wouldn't think you would need that many little micro parcels or micro uh, zonings or terraces necessarily. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm no expert, so maybe I speak too soon. It's just there's so many little awkward polygons that I just wonder if you really need all that. Back here, back here, even like here and here, like patchy w WTFness. And let's try and wrap up Madagascar because this video is getting pretty long. More old grid. I just wanted to convey the scale of it. Let's go to the northern area. Um, <laughs> so, let's see if we can see some patchiness. Kind of see faint lines there. See what I mean? Uh, oh, well, there's people right here. What was I talking about? I think this is the patchiness I was talking about, like these cleared out areas of land. Could be for any number of reasons. Terracing. Although keep in mind in Bolivia and Peru we have all that ter weird terracing that 
doesn't really serve a purpose. There it's made of stacked stones for the most part. Um, I can't really say what this is made out of. But it is on a vast scale, whatever it is. Which is probably the most suspicious aspect of it to me. Just the scale. Well, that's probably that dude's stuff. And more northerly here. Hmm. Modern activity, obviously, but possible pre allocation of little land plots through some kind of raising over or working over of the land. Possible. I'm, I'm, I'm not sold on that idea, but like stuff like this, it just looks like this area was like worked over. For lack of a better term, credit to uh, zero control or um, land be land before time dot blogspot dot something for uh, um, reminding me of that term worked over because he's talking about Lesotho and it's like a country in the middle of South Africa and the land there looks heavily worked over he said. And I'm bor borrowing that term because it's kind of the best term to describe what may be going on. Just like some kind of working over of the land. So. Alright. Bye Madagascar. Uh, I can't wait to see where we go next. We go to Kazakhstan. How many more we have? Kazakhstan, California. Oh, sweet. Just Kazakhstan and California. So we're almost done. Let's go to Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Old grid continues. And just briefly, let's just take a look at the scale of this. Patchy or old grid. Patchy land and old grid could, could be considered the same category, really. Just depends. I mean, it's kind of arbitrary classifications. And there's a lot of bleed through from one type of feature to another, because, I mean, you know what I mean. So this type of area could be some kind of mining operation, or like if this is like a salt flat or something, you know. Brief little tour of the area here. Um, kind of old gritty. Maybe it's just the coloration that makes it look different. But definitely looks like the land has been worked over. I would say, by something for some reason. And like, it doesn't look like there's much going on here other than just the land is divided up. And then that's that. It just sits there. So that's a little strange to me. And lots of like former divisions kind of fading away. Mm. Okay, let's let's take a look at this near nearby features here. Some of these are pretty interesting. Um, so this long straight gouge is kind of interesting to me. Uh, see this, the shape of it almost looks like the end, the end of a uh, sandbar or a spit, like a, a a finger of land that forms out in the ocean uh, along coastlines. But this is, instead of land, this is like a, a channel of water, it looks like. Um, could be from sand flows or whatever, but uh, 
it's a little awkward. Kind of follows like a well, kind of a broken path here, and then doesn't look like a road to me. Just keeps going, kind of starts and stops, picks up over here. Um, so you can see it's kind of a continuous line there. So just something artificial, and then it keeps going like this. It looks like, yep. Remind myself. Uh, so I, I bring that up because I also noticed that. Um, well, first of all, to my eye, this looks kind of artificial, at least, uh, because I noticed that these um, rings, the edges of this lake, or whatever you want to call it, in particular, they look a little too clean, like right in this area. So this is one of those places I was wondering if it's like mimicry of natural patterns rather than natural streaks or beach ridges or dunes um, or changing water levels, leaving various marks. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I mean, maybe this is just the changes in water level um, leaving or like changes in tides and then overall changes in water level, leaving these different ring marks around the, the edge. To my eye, I would say it's at least somewhat suspicious looks kind of artificial, not to mention these kind of scrape marks, for lack of a better explanation. See that? Psh, psh. And this looks like artificial working over of some kind, and not just in one direction. We've got it here, we've got it here. Um, so I wonder whether this is artificial, and whether this, this thing like this is an artificial border by something which even like this this path right here. Could even be tire tracks, so I don't want to speak too soon on that. Might be. But uh then we've got this star thingy. Just uh, looks like some kind of facility maybe. So that may that may just be modern, but Squiggling? What's squiggling? Oh, they... This may... Mm. I, at first I was thinking this might, might be like a, a deliberate clue. Like, they, you have the coast... Uh, the trajectory of the coastline here. Or the former, co former coastline going like this. And then it just... Uh, all of a sudden goes into this squiggle pattern. So at first I was thinking that might be some kind of a thing where they're outing themselves or giving like a, a blatant clue or something like that. But then I, I was thinking it, it's probably just um, flows, flows of sand like going downhill or something. So, um, and the, for the most part, these rings do look pretty natural. I don't know. Uh, it's tough to say. It's pretty crisp, but also pretty flowy. Um, I just I just like when I see an old grid or any real any type of phenomenon. I like to scroll around the area to see what else we see, just to to help give it some kind of point of reference. More old grid here. Um, this looking more useless than other areas. Just look back in time real quick. I doubt we'll get 1973, but epic resolution 1987 mm. Alright, well Let's wrap up this area and then go to the last one in California. Just browsing here, seeing what looks like it may have been worked over. And you can see there's patches of land that don't look like they were worked over. 
obviously. I mean, you walk outside and most of what you see probably wherever you live doesn't look artificial. That, that's the case where I live for sure. Um, maybe some kind of path here. I don't know. Uh, let's look at these hillsides. Not much to see here. Okay, let's go to our last example, California. And so basically I'm talking about the entire uh, Central Valley as it's called, or I forget what it's called. Uh, I think it's called Central Valley, but the central portion of California where all the farming happens and the wine land and everything. Uh, I'm suspecting that that's um, part of that pre pre-mapped out land plots that I'm, I've been talking about. And straight off the bat, I'm looking at this line here. Like right... This groove just goes right across the island. And it's like tens of thousands or maybe even hundreds of thousands. My math might, might be fuzzy, but tens of thousands of square miles of these levees. And they've been here quite a while. Um, and like this little thing bugs me. There's just so much of it. Uh, like basically I'm referring to this whole area of California is like including San Francisco Bay Area is a kind of old gritty um, see like almost looks like old patterns or modern stuff on top of old patterns of course could just be multiple different seasons of work obviously and they do it slightly different each season or whatever you know what I mean but uh, definitely modern stuff going on here for sure but like th this kind of stuff I it just looks like kind of like a, a worked over wasteland and when you drive by it you don't think much you just think it's somebody's plot of land and they're just doing whatever with it um, and at eye level you can't see any of these markings of course um, ugh. maybe old grid some of you probably think I'm crazy I'm not sold on this California aspect. It's just, it seems like, seems at least somewhat likely to me that a lot of this stuff is goofy and um, terraformed for maybe even arbitrary reasons. Uh, like a, like a tractor that's just been <laughs> uh, like a, room, a Roomba, you know, the little automatic vacuums that vacuum your house. Well, like imagine one of those that had like uh, terraforming capabilities and it was just like on autopilot, just like continually working over the land. Um, I think that would be quite funny, actually. See, stuff like this... Um, possible that a, a dredge or something that maintains these these coastlines uh, just keeps making the same pass through along the same path just to, to keep the coastlines constant and usable for modern purposes and predictable manageable um, right here uh, this edge looks unnaturally straight slightly uneven but when you zoom out you see this kind of straightness of it and straightness continuing there and here as well 
um, like these multiple channels, which I suspect are artificial to begin with, or at least artificially edited by not us. Uh, old grid, though. Old grid. Um, see, we've got like these straight lines and angular offshoots of these rivers, like what's what is what is the purpose of these? Like this former former rectangle of some kind right here, right here. Just uh this might be for transportation. I think we're getting into San Francisco Bay now. Um like I could see something which goes around the island to maintain the coast or whatever. Uh, it's a little awkward. Um, but like this channel down the middle seems a little odd. And it, like it's all straight and then it goes kind of bends there. These little channels looking kind of cartoony and like that's probably modern kind of gritty but I just I don't trust the the all these little channels here that like what, what's going on here like a channel here one more channel here one more channel on the outside What's going on there? Let's find one more gr old grid example in California. I think this is the one in the still image. Um, look back in time. So it looks like in 1993 it was, oh, looks like it was more ordered and so it looks like it's changed quite a bit. Yeah, see now it's all flooded. It happens, it happens. Um, And I think you've had enough. I've had enough. Uh, okay. Um, next up will be patchy land, I think. Uh, yeah, sorry, I used the wrong slide in this one. Next episode will be patchy land, so tune in for that. And uh, keep your eye on this playlist, because I'll be doing videos on each one of these. Probably more likely that each video will be like an hour long or more. So, uh, yep, I'll see you later. Bye.